are these new bezel-less powerful premium laptops a waste of your money? Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another brand new video on my YouTube channel. Hope you guys have a wonderful day as always. And in today's video, I want to talk about a topic that I've had in my mind for such a long time. And that is, is a premium laptop worth buying? Now, if you guys don't know, I've had two laptops for the past year. The Dell Inspiron 15 7000 and the Dell XPS 15. Now, both of these laptops are around the 2000 plus range and a lot of people at least three years ago would have said that you are wasting your money you're not getting your money's worth and things like that but i also thought hey why not spend this money and why not buy a gaming pc or why not build a gaming pc for a much cheaper price and get much more performance than this laptop would ever do even if i overclocked it but then i started debating back and forth i watched a lot of other youtubers and i have to say this is my justification to why I chose a Dell XPS 15 over a gaming PC. Let me explain to you guys. So, the number one reason why I think this laptop is so much better than buying an even more powerful computer is the fact that I can easily take my work wherever I go. The ease of workflow is a huge point why I chose this laptop. Now, let me explain this a little bit. So, let's say I'm working on a project. And you know, if you are in the productive or the content creating industry, you would know that sometimes it's nice to change your workspace. It's nice to change your environment around you and maybe, you know, it helps you create the content that you're creating. And for me at least, when I'm editing a video, I like to be able to go outside and edit a little bit. It just helps me just think of more creative ways. It's, it may sound funny, but there is some sort of help in your content with the workspace that you're editing your video with. And if I had a gaming PC, I would never be able to do this. I would always have to stay in the corner of my room editing my video and that would be it. It's a complete stationary setup that I will never be able to change, at least not often. I would change it, I could change it to another place in my room, but I can't take it outside, I can't take it to the bus stop, I can't take it on the bus, I can't I can't take it wherever I want to coffee shop, it has to be in one spot. Let's say you don't like the spot that your computer is in, you're not going to feel like working and trust me there's a lot to that even more than you think there is. Now there's more to what I mean by portability, convenience and ease of workflow so I've had times a lot of people don't agree and a lot of people think this is not a realistic reason but I've had times where I had to edit videos on the go because I feel like let's say you go to work let's say you have a presentation at school or whatever it is you're editing your video at home and you're taking it to school the next day so the next day that you go there in the morning because guys when you're doing creative work you get ideas right off the bat at different times and let's say you get an idea the next day the next morning at school but you won't be able to make any edits to your video because your gaming PC or your editing machine is at home and you can't edit on your Chromebook or your cheap Ultrabook that you bought because you spent so much on the PC and chose to go with a cheaper laptop. Now you can't edit when you get those ideas at that certain time but if you have a powerful computer like an XPS 15 or whatever it is, if you get an idea and you have like 30 minutes before you present, you can quickly open a premiere and easily add whatever you want to it. So I feel like with content creation, it helps a lot. Now, I know what you're thinking. The XPS is a productivity based laptop, but there are other laptops like the Air 15X, the Razer Blade 15, which are more gaming oriented. And you're wondering why in the world would you ever need a gaming laptop? Well, let me explain. So once again, going back to the three years thing, Three years ago, the best gaming laptops were most likely like the Alienware series and these guys are huge, they're chunky as hell and it, it's not fun to use it, it's not the best experience even though it's portable. But gaming laptops like the Razer Blade 15, the new MSI laptops, the Aero 15X, these things, they have huge performance inside them. They have i7 processors, they have 1060s, 1070s and stuff like that and you are able to game with high frame rates on these laptops and in fact they use stuff like vapor chambers to actually help with thermals and the Razer Blade 15 is like a full gaming desktop. You can get that experience. It plays high frame rate games and stuff and now you're wondering why would you pay for this overpriced laptop instead of building the same specs but cheaper 
on an actual PC. Well, this is also not realistic to some of you, but I've had times where I played video games on the go. I played Assassin's Creed Origins for one week when I was in America on my XP15. And to someone who's maybe in university, where you have to go to the library and you're not always inside your dorm, it's nice to take a break and play a quick game. It's nice to have the ability to play a game, knowing that you can play a game if you want to release some stress or whatever it is. And yes, once again, the $2,000, $3,000 does not exactly equal to the specs inside the computer, but you need to understand that these machines have thin versions of what actually are this. So the compression is why the cost is so high. Because products are now a lot thinner than they used to be, the prices have also increased because of course, the production is now harder and more expensive for them. And there's a reason why Dell sells more laptops than Dell desktops because laptops have a huge market now I understand a few years ago if you were to say that you're paying 2000 for a laptop it would be kind of stupid because you're essentially getting an i7u processor you're essentially paying for about 8 gigs of RAM and you're getting like an Intel HD graphics but nowadays when you say you're paying 2000 for a laptop it's not a waste of money you know why because you can choose to get an i9 processor if you want to you can choose to get an i7 processor and now you can get the hq processors which are the high performance oriented processors for laptops you can get 32 gigabytes of ram on a laptop you can get a 1070 on a laptop these things were not available to us a few years ago and that's why a lot of stereotypes that's why a lot of common opinion is out there saying that any laptop that is over 2000 or any laptop that is trying to sell you as a gaming laptop is overpriced or is a scam that is not true guys you need to understand that we are now changing and a lot of people are actually enjoying being able to have a portable workstation once again i understand these laptops are not for everyone not everyone wants to pay a lot just for the convenience of being able to transfer your work but there is an audience, there is a reason why Dell is able to successfully uh, increase their XPS lineup every year. There's a reason why Razer is successful. Why? Because they are promoting laptops and people love the convenience of laptops. They want portability, they want to be able to game on their sofa, they want to be able to game on their bed. They don't want to always sit down in a chair. Not everyone is a series of a gamer to be sitting down on a chair and playing video games. They want to casually play some video games. They want to casually edit a video. And I know there are people out there right now watching this video that actually have an XP15, that actually have a premium laptop, and they can totally understand what I'm trying to say. The convenience of being able to do heavy performance work while you're not at home is actually useful. This is a realistic reason why I think I can justify my purchase for this laptop. Now, let's say, let's just say I never bought this XPS, and instead I built like a thousand dollar PC and I bought like a five hundred dollar Chromebook. Think about how hard it would be for you to work at home on a beautiful PC with nice specs. You know, you're editing, it's nice. But then, the other half of the day, you have to work on a Chromebook that is slow, that won't run Windows, and it has a bad TN panel, and it's just such a hard experience. Think about it. Half of the time, you are not at home of the day. Half of the time, you're at school or work. And when you're at school or when you're at work and you're using this Chromebook, then think about the experience that you have. Think about how much you'll suffer not having a fluid experience. Think about that. And I understand you can come home to enjoy yourself playing some video games for 2-3 hours on a gaming PC but most of the time you're doing a lot of work at school or at work and, and during that time do you really want to go through such a bad experience? Do you really want to sacrifice half of your day just because you want a couple of hours of gaming that has more FPS? Because think about it. If I want to, I can come home, I can still play video games on my XPS, even though it's not meant for gaming. If you buy a Razer Blade 15, 100% you can play video games on your computer. And I feel like, yes, yes, once again, you're spending a little bit more. But then again, think about it like this. You're getting a 100% Adobe RGB color space monitor or display, and you're getting a fingerprint scanner, you're getting carbon fiber design, you're getting back to the convenience of portability. I can't stress this enough. I know, I know, I, I sound like I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but that is the importance of this laptop. That is why people buy these laptops over gaming PCs, and that's why I chose to choose this beautiful laptop over a gaming PC. I could have built a very nice PC with that can play double the FPS, that can get more graphics on than this laptop and I could have chose to go with the Chromebook but you need to think that half of the day you're gonna have to use that Chromebook that half of the day you're gonna have to suffer that half of the day you're not gonna be able to edit or you're not gonna be able to make refinements to your work if you ever need to think about it 
in an actual perspective of a content creator, having the ability to create content wherever you are is a plus. That's why a lot of YouTubers actually edit on their laptops. That's a fact. Because when they're traveling, they can still edit. They don't need their gaming PC. Let's say you bought a gaming PC and a Chromebook. How are you gonna edit your videos if you're traveling? What if you're making traveling vlogs? How are you gonna edit while you're on the go? How are you gonna do all these things if you have only a Chromebook? You need to think of it like this. Yes, you can buy a cheap, you can buy an extremely cheap laptop for $500 with a bad TN panel, horrible battery, horrible performance, and just so you can spend a couple of hours at home playing, uh, playing on a gaming PC. Now, I understand once again, I'm coming back to this because we have different opinions and different sides of this topic. So you guys can comment your opinion in the comment section below. But all I'm trying to say is there is a certain audience that is meant for this gaming laptop or premium laptop industry. And there is an audience just for gaming PCs that are able to work with Chromebooks. Maybe, maybe their school doesn't require a laptop. Maybe your work doesn't require you to take your own laptop. Maybe you already have a work laptop. Then in that case, I would, I would definitely understand why you would want a gaming PC. But in most cases, in 2018, we need to understand that gaming laptops or expensive or premium laptops are no longer a scam. They're no longer the alien verse that we had a few years ago. They're now actually better. They're now getting worth it. They're now becoming more valuable for your money. And I, I would like to wrap it off with that being said. And you guys can let me know in the comment section below if you have a laptop and if you have a laptop, why you chose to get that laptop or a computer. And if you have a computer, I want to hear what you had to say about this because of course, I don't have a computer, so maybe maybe that I'm missing out on something. You guys should let me know in the comment section below why you decided to go with the desktop over a laptop and tell me if you're missing out on something. I definitely am missing out on some FPS and some performance that I could get with gaming and a little bit of speed when rendering videos, but for the most part, I'm getting a good experience and that experience is 100% worth it. And with that being said, this is Tech Alpha signing on with today's video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.